guys welcome back to my channel it's me olivia today i'm gonna be doing a get ready with me i'm not really quite sure what i'm gonna be doing yet but um i'm going to my sister's friend's birthday party so hopefully we do something fun i'm just gonna get started because i have like no storage on my phone so i'm gonna use the nyx professional makeup micro brow pencil in the shade brunette usually i like set my eyebrows with powder before I start filling in my eyebrows, but I forgot my powder at my mom's house and I'm at my dad's house right now, so we're just gonna see if this works. I usually do that because I use like a lot of oils on my face because my skin gets pretty dry sometimes. And then there's like oils in my eyebrows and then the pencil doesn't really like stay that well, so. But I'm sure this will work out fine. My windows are open right now so that's where there's like a lot of background sound i'm sorry um but it's like nice outside so my dad doesn't have like the air conditioning on you know i feel like whenever i'm filming alone i'm so like uncomfortable and awkward but like when i'm with my friends i feel like you guys like see how i really am so I'm sorry if I'm like so weird whenever I'm just filming alone, but like it just takes me a second to like get comfortable, you know? Well, I'm gonna put eyebrow gel in my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Essence Make Me Brow, Brownie Brows, number two. I like this stuff a lot. I've been using tinted brow gel more often because I haven't dyed my eyebrows in like five years and my eyebrows are really light. So would recommend using these if you have light eyebrows and you want darker eyebrows i don't know if i've mentioned this before in my previous videos but i really prefer cleaning my eyebrows up with a q-tip rather than like a concealer because you still get like the pretty defined look but it's not like as sharp all right now i'm gonna prime my eyelids with the wet n wild eyeshadow primer I think I want to do a cut crease today, maybe something like green, I'm not 100% sure. I have not been wearing makeup at all lately because I recently went back to school, not recently, it's been like a month probably, and I just cannot be bothered enough to like wake up early and like actually put makeup on and like when i do it's like just ever go and like mascara like but then whenever i do wear makeup i'm kind of like like damn i look good so i'm gonna use my psyche's box palette is it psyche's box or is it psyche's box because i really don't know but mine is like so dirty and like i obviously use the red a lot as blush but i think i'm just gonna go with Sprite the light green in with in my crease with this uh, fluffy brush These shadows are so awesome. They came out with like a mini version And I wish I would have got that one because this was kind of expensive and like I've never hit pan on eyeshadow So I wish I'd have got that one, but whenever I bought this they didn't have the mini one out yet, so I'm taking this green all the way up to my eyebrow, but like only in the front part. And then I'm also putting some like right here in like where the eye connects to the nose. Now I'm going to go in with the darker green. It's called Petrichor. I'm definitely not saying it right, but I'm just going to go like deeper into the crease to add like a little bit more definition. But I don't want this to be like a dark green look. I just want it to be like... A little more have a little more depth you know and I'm gonna go blend that out with more of the light green spray I made this too dark but I think that it will be okay overall so earlier I was thinking I should do hot pink on the lid like cut crease and then like hot pink but now I feel like I should do blue. Would it be bad if I did both, like pink and then blue? 
I'll get down a quarter. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna cut the crease now. Um, I bought this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I haven't tried it yet, but hopefully it works out. I bought it for my Halloween idea. I'm planning on doing um, like some drag and I didn't have any concealer before. So hopefully this works well to cut the crease. I'm using the shade Fair 0 I just cut the crease kind of badly because I never really do cut creases except whenever I film. So now I'm going to go in with the pink on the lid. I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette. I bought this a long time ago. I don't support him. But this is the only hot pink I have to do closer to the cut crease. This shit is so much harder than people make it out to be. Like, I would say I have like decent artistry skills, but like makeup is so hard sometimes. Cause like, if it looks bad, like you just gotta go out like that all day, you know? Like that sucks. Like it is more purpley than I thought it would be, but you know, it's kind of cute, I guess. We're just gonna have to make it work. Now I think I want to go in with some blue on the outer corner. I'm going to go back into the Psyche's Box palette and use Subterrarian, the darker blue. And I'm just going to like pack this in the outer corner. This blue slaps. I've never used it before, but it's really pretty. And then I'm going to go back in with the pink and blend the blue and the pink together, you know. And then I'm going to blend the blue into the green. I look like a sexy peacock. I'm pretty satisfied with how this look, how the eyes look right now. But this was really not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting to do some light green, some hot pink, and that's it. But it, now it's like pink, purple, blue, green. So I'm gonna go wipe off the fallout. That's why I always do my eyes first. So I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna move on to the base. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I've never used it before, but I just bought it. It came in like a little pack with like this and like a lip gloss and then like this like shimmery face gloss. I don't know. Uh, I've tried the other two and they were both really cool, so. This smells like watermelon. I'm not really big on primer. I usually just don't use it, but if y'all say it does something, it probably does. I'm gonna use the Ordinary Serum Foundation in the shade 1.0 NS, like usual. It's stress acne right now. My skin is not loving it. Then I'm going to blend this in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I'm going to spray some Mario Badescu Rose Water on and then blend it all out one more time because um, I feel like whenever your foundation like dries out, it's like not as easy to blend, obviously. I want to use Baby Jane, this light pink, as a blush, but I don't know if it will be too light, so let's try it out and see what happens. I want to put it like up here more than like right here, like I usually do. Not super blushed, but like something subtle, you know? I don't know if I should do like a glittery highlight or like something more natural. I don't know. I'll start off with this e.l.f. and like Moonlight Pearls. It's pretty just like standard champagne highlight for pale people like me. Should we put some on the brow bone and in the inner corner? I think we 
should have added another one to put like a different color, but I think this will be great. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of blue on the lower lash line, just like on the outer portion. I'm gonna try not to go too ham on this, but I always do. What is that? I'm gonna put more of a highlight on my lower lash line, like in the inner half. I'm gonna spray my face again so none of the powders are like too dry looking. Um, I'm gonna blot like just a smidgen of this Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Double Dare in the middle of my lips to give them just a little bit of color. Whenever I wear eyeshadow that's like hot pink, I always struggle with like what lip I should wear if I don't want to wear like a hot pink lip because I feel like everything like clashes, you know? And then I'm going to try this face and eye gloss as a lip gloss. It's from e.l.f. My sister just FaceTimed me. I don't remember where I was, but I'm going to use this face and eye gloss. It's from e.l.f. It's like very like thick it's like very shimmery though it reminds me of the fenty diamond milk i've only used this um on my eyes before so let's hope it goes well on my lips because like it feels just like a lip gloss i think it's just labeled like eye and face gloss to be like edgy now I just need to put some mascara on. I'm using the Wet n Wild Skinny Mascara Mega Slim. Um, are the is Wet n Wild not cruelty free anymore? Can someone comment that down below because I really don't know. I thought that they were, and then people were like, no, they aren't anymore. Or am I getting that confused with a different brand? I don't know. If they are cruelty free, I would recommend this mascara because it makes your lashes really like a separated and like, well you can't really tell right now, but it makes them really pretty. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. It really means the most to me. Um, it would mean a lot to me if you guys would subscribe and like and comment if you would like to. You guys mean so much to me and I'm so thankful for you guys, even though there's like 40 of you, but it really means a lot. I love you guys.